Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and very good day. This video is a continue from the first uh, video about half wave rectifier uncontrolled with uh, R load. As we have discussed before uh, and on the first video, we will look uh, in detail how to do the simulation on a schematic diagram for the half-wave rectifier uh, and control with our load okay before that i would like to refresh again the example that we have discussed in the class uh, example one which is uh, considered the half -wave rectifier circuit uh, with a resistive load uh, of 25 ohm and a 60 hertz ac source of 110 volt RMS uh, value okay so how we want to setting this parameter in the MATLAB uh, in order to perform uh, the analysis of the half wave rectifier and control uh, with uh, our load <coughs> okay now we go to the first part of the setting by click the symbol of the uh, block parameters of AC voltage source this is the default setting by the AC voltage source for uh, a block parameters for the AC voltage source uh, with the peak uh, amplitude phase diagram the frequency and the sample time so the question asks, the question provide 110 volt RMS but the setting value at the uh, block parameters is 110 uh, so 110 RMS so we need to multiply uh, the 110 volt RMS with a set uh, 2 we obtain 155.56 volt we remain the phase uh, in degree a unit is zero the frequency and the unit hertz is uh, 60 and the sample time will remain a uh, zero and then we apply and click ok right and then we click the default for the block parameters for diode uh, we obtain the resistance uh, 0.001 ohms which is represent the internal resistance for the diode in that turn we remain zero for voltage if we uh, choose that this is the ideal case we put the uh, value for forward voltage as zero okay and we remain that for the snubber resistant as well as the snubber capacitant uh, as recommended or default by the by the MATLAB okay and then we go to the uh, setting for the R R load the default value is 1 we change to 25 ohm click apply and ok <coughs> right and the question asks to calculate the average value of v out and i out okay we will do uh, the first part uh, of the question to identify or to calculate the average value of V out and I out of the system okay <clears throat> so what we need to do now is to obtain the proper measurement tools that we can uh, determine or we can get from the uh, simulating library browse okay so the familiar measurement component that we need to use is called a scope we go to the search uh, search uh, 
area here and then we type scope and then enter okay the scope is under the simulink uh, tools for the uh, sink think yeah for the sink there is two type of scope called floating scope and scope so you choose scope and then add to your file okay sorry for the delay because uh, my laptop is a bit uh, lower uh, the RAM okay so we put the scope here and then add the source as well as the <coughs> uh, output the next uh, measurement tools that is uh, important is uh, I want to measure the uh, voltage and the current so when you we need to apply for the under sim power systems uh, tools so we choose measured we need to find the voltage measurement <coughs> so as well as the current measurement because we need to uh, measure the average output voltage as well as the average uh, current wo uh, average output current okay so you can delete the name the labeling okay now we can rotate <coughs> in order to arrange our setting component so this is where I want to measure my my voltage uh, input so measure here okay just uh, copy to measure your uh, output voltage so you can put here you can put here as well so current we need to connect in a series with the components just copy just drag by drag the component the purpose to drag the component will make the symbol or the components become duplicate you duplicate the components by by drag the, the component okay we save the file so now the frequency is 60 hertz uh, meaning that if I have the uh, component F equals to 1 over T so in order to have period equals to 1 over F meaning that 1 over 60 so this is represent uh, 1 over 60 meaning that uh, 1 over 60 you have uh, 0 0.02 for for one period okay roughly 0 0.02 okay so this is whereby you need to uh, 
setting your simulation stop time here. If you put 0 0.02, meaning that you only simulate the schematic diagram for one period. So this is not uh, practical because you cannot see or very difficult to see the performance in one period. So I recommend you to have the three period 0 0.02 times 3 0 0.06. Okay. <clears throat> so now we just want to know we still not answer the question yet. Okay. We just want to know whether the system is workable or not uh, for the setting that we have uh, performed just now. So by click the start simulation button here. Okay. It show some error here, okay. Meaning that it say that the initialized command cannot be evaluated, okay. So what you need to add in this uh, type of error is by adding the power GUI block because in MATLAB simulink the system is in the perform of uh, GUI graphic user interface so what you need to do go to library browse find the block called power GUI and enter okay so power GUI just copy this block add to the add to your file <coughs> okay just put any corner that suitable remain on the continuous mode click save button again and then perform your uh, simulation okay so your setting is uh, okay meaning that there is no error no error is appear Okay, so now we look at the graph. When you click the scope button, it always uh, show the uh, <coughs> default uh, setting. So what you need to do, click the button called auto scale. So auto scale meaning that we will perform uh, automatic scaling. Okay, this is whereby you can see this is for one two and three uh, cycle three cycle or more three cycle and and more okay but uh, this is for the uh, this is for the input voltage okay can we see for the output voltage since this is the halfway rectifier our expectation for the output voltage is we cut off at the at the negative cycle so ideally uh, we perform the halfway rectifier concept okay halfway rectifier concept we perform already so now if we look at the back the peak value this is the peak value of the input voltage it determine 1, 5, 6, 1.1, 1, 1, 155.56 volt. Okay, roughly. Okay, so it follows uh, based on our based on our setting. Okay, and the uh, output voltage for the DC value of voltage, so it remains the same output voltage since this is an ideal uh, case, ideal value. Okay. So now we want to find the average value of uh, output voltage and output uh, current. Okay, output voltage and output current. So in MATLAB, 
when we talk about the average value meaning that the block is called mean okay mean so the mean you find you type the mean and you choose the simscape mean value okay mean value so mean value you need to copy you resizing the mean block you double click and normally the average period based on your frequency since our setting frequency at the source uh, input is 60 hertz meaning that the averaging we need to setting 1 over 60 if we uh, set the source voltage fundamental frequency is 50 hertz so in this function block parameters uh, the mean value we need to set 1 over 50 hertz okay then we click ok since we also need to determine the uh, input so uh, sorry output uh, current so we need to copy uh, the second block of the mean uh, parameter so in order to locate the mean block to the output current as well as the output voltage you just bring the block and put in the middle of the wired okay you can resizing them All right so based on our discussion before we have determined the average value of output voltage and output current is uh, 49.52 and 1.98 M respectively so now we start the simulation so we determine the average output current roughly we obtain at the 9 1.98 M okay if you want to resizing sorry resizing the the thickness of the line you just go to the style and uh, increase the size here okay so determine the size 1.98 m okay so now we go to the output uh, average output voltage how to scale uh, setting the uh, sizing 3 we almost get the answer for average output voltage at 49.5 Vote. Okay. So I hope you can try this setting in your MATLAB uh, laptop. So and then if you have any uh, question or any difficulties about the setting you can determine or you sorry you can ask question via uh, whatsapp group especially on the release uh, 2012 a thank you very much assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh